Welcome back folks. It has been a while and uh, as you can see autumn has hit Denmark pretty hard and that is also why I need the sweater on now. So there aren't coming as many riding vlogs, first rides, reviews and stuff like that anymore but there is coming something else because as you probably saw on the title I bought another bike. It stands right there and I can look at it right there and the thing is with this bike I can just break it for you now it's not a new Panigale or a new Harley Davidson something like that it's a no bike because this is going to be my winter project a build I am going to do the whole winter from scratch to finish and the bike I've chosen is a classic um, and there has been a bit of modification to it but it has been done very quick, not as refined, the finish isn't that good, but the hard work is done and um, I think it's going to be great. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Shh. So this is my brand new Honda CB750 from 1982. The perfect classic bike for a winter project rebuild. As you can see, this has been slightly modified to a cafe racer, but you can't probably see the finish of this bike because there's a lot that is missing. But the base of this motorcycle is perfect and the engine the engine sounds healthy and that is actually the most important thing. A nice little detail is that all the engine part has been polished and the rear springs has been polished as well. So it has a overall nice finish that I can work from. We have here in Denmark some pretty strict laws about modification of old bikes. And I can see that there's been some slightly modification to the frame at the back. And that is the only place that we can do slightly modification um, but I can see how it looks now so if it's done the wrong way I have to do it the right way but a funny thing is that actually today there are coming some new laws about modification on older motorcycle so I really hope it's going to make my job easier from today it is some pretty strict laws I can tell you that all the things with the hoop frame that everybody does to these classic bikes totally illegal unless you get a new TUV certification about the whole bike it is expensive and it's not worth it but it's a good base all the what can I say the hard job is done with removing the plastic new wires all the stuff like that is done so the base for me is perfect so the way I am going to approach this build is as a lot of you know is that I am a flat track fanboy so of course I'm going to build this as a flat tracker. I hope it's possible to fit a real flat track rear end on this motorcycle and I'm also looking into putting on another tank for this build. Of course it's going to have the flat headlight as well and then a huge paint job done by the amazing Glenn. That sounds... that sounds funny the amazing Glenn anyway Glenn is going to paint this flat tracker build again and I am thinking about going with the same orange as on my FTR 1200 and let me just say it the color I hate the most in this world on material things is blue I <coughs> I hate I hate blue but we will fix it and it is going to be black and orange as I am thinking this build now and as some of you guys that have built your own motorcycles things change 
And uh, I won't say that it has to look like this because if I get another idea, I want to go for it. But I hope to stay in the same category of a build. Flat Tracker, Cafe Racer, Brad, Bobber. I hope that I can stay in one of the boxes, one of the genres, because that is where you have the most good looking build in my opinion. So as I said before, we have a lot of strict rules about modification on bikes. So that is actually the first thing I have to do is to see what do I have to do over and what do I have to think about in this build. But let me take you a bit closer so I can show you some of the details on this bike, some of the good, some of the bad. So let's go. So as you can see, the engine looks pretty fine. As I said before, all the uh, the parts, all the engine parts has been taken off and been polished. So they are actually looking pretty good. Um, the engine looks healthy as well. There's nothing to see on the engine where it could drip from any places or stuff like that. The airbox has been uh, removed. So uh, you can see all the filters right here. And this is all the, what can I say, small things that I have to change as well. And if we move back to the rear frame here, um, I'm not a big fan of uh, especially this uh, headlight, but this has been like taped, like with Scotch tape or something like that. Um, that is not a beautiful finish. I don't want the license plate to sit there. I want it as on my FTR. But as you can see here, the frame has already gotten this frame hoop. And that is actually okay, unless they have removed, I don't know what to call it in, uh, in English, but the frame that is in between the two pieces of frame. That one you can remove, but we are going to see that when we remove this bad boy. This is also some small details that uh, I don't like uh, about this build. You have to cut a piece like this off. Um, I have to check the, uh, the laws about removing uh, these bad boys from the frame. I don't think it's possible, but cutting these off and then paint the frame from new on would be the what can I say, the perfect look, but it's probably not legal and I don't want to ride on a unlegal bike. So if we move on to the, to the steering area, because as you can see, he has put on uh, clip-ons and then made some something. Um, uh, this is where you start the bike. Normally I don't like uh, clip-ons on a build, maybe on some, if it's done the right way. I don't think this is, uh, because as you can see, this is where the handlebar should have been. This one should have been replaced, but he has covered it up with this Honda CB750F plate. There's also a new old speedometer on it. I think I'm going to remove that as well. And then of course we're going to replace the big ass headlight and then we also gonna paint the front forks and the front fender right here but a lot of fine things is already done to the spike as you can see the headers are coated uh, i am thinking to go with the power wrap but i'm not sure because now when the exhaust is black by itself then it's maybe not a good idea to ruin that with power wrap but uh, let's see it when we get farther into the build. There is also something about the wiring that isn't working because the indicators isn't working every time. But um, what can I expect on a homemade build on an old bike? So that is also something we have to take care of. But hopefully a new tank, a new rear piece with a new seat. Uh, maybe I'm going to make the seat by myself. Uh, that is only a maybe. And then of course the full paint job. But as you can see, a lot of fine things has been done to this bike. I don't think the, the uh, finish is uh, done very good, but that's okay. Just the base to start with is awesome. So let's just hope that I am not running into too many problems through this build because let's just face it right now, there are gonna be some difficulties and problems on the way, but I hope I can fix it. Not easy, but in a normal pace. Let's just say that. So there you have it, folks. My brand new bike, 
Honda CB750F from 1982. This is going to be the winter project of this year. So I hope you guys will follow the journey. It is going to be a long series, but that is the content I can make alongside uh, gear reviews, unboxing, and all these type of videos. But we are going to have a winter project together and I have been looking so much forward to this and to tell you guys about this. I don't know for how many years that I would love to have a second bike to build on the whole winter because I am getting a little bit winter depressed when I can ride a motorcycle because the weather is crappy in Denmark in the winter time. Unless it's snowing, that is fine, but it's not California, so we have to do other stuff. And that is why we are going to build a motorcycle instead. And, <clears throat> and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because there are a lot of shenanigans going on in there as well. And uh, please let me know in the comments, what do you think I should do to the bike? Do you have some tips and tricks that I should know before I start? anything let's have a conversation going in the comments so that was it folks don't forget to like this video subscribe if you aren't already especially now with this series coming up and if you are new here to the channel welcome so nice to see you that was it see ya